Oftentimes, when a UFC champion has enjoyed the level of success that heavyweight Stipe Miocic has, the topic of motivation comes up. For instance, what keeps Miocic going, when he already has defended his title more times than any heavyweight in UFC history? What's fueling that fire, when he already knows what it's like to lose his title and win it back? When we're already calling him the greatest heavyweight of all time? When his next opponent, Francis Ngannou at UFC 260 on Saturday, is a man he already dominated once before, five rounds to none? How to buy UFC 260 on ESPN plus PPV These are all fair questions for the champ. But going into this weekend, Miocic's level of motivation isn't being questioned. Why not? The answer probably has something to do with the fact that Miocic always has an obvious source of motivation going into fights. And that motivation is that, somehow, we continue to doubt this guy. Despite all of his accomplishments, Miocic, 20-3, is a betting underdog this weekend against Ngannou, 15-3. Just as he was in his past two fights against Daniel Cormier and in his first fight with Ngannou back in 2018. Ahead of this weekend's title fight, the eighth of Miocic's career, much of the focus is, again, on the other guy. As it was the first time he and Ngannou fought. I love shutting people up. Miocic said on the UFC's Countdown show, one of the promotion's primary marketing tools ahead of every pay-per-view. My whole life. There are similarities between UFC 260 and UFC 220, at which Miocic beat Ngannou over five rounds in Boston, and then took the championship belt from Dana White before the UFC president could wrap it around him, because Miocic wanted his head coach, Marcus Marinelli, to do it instead. Whether or not anyone wants to admit it, there was a feeling in 2018 that the UFC, and maybe the sport, in a broader sense, was ready to move on from Miocic to Ngannou. There was an unmistakable feeling of, us against the world, radiating from Team Miocic, and you can't tell me that didn't underline Miocic's act of taking the belt that night from White. And even though going into this weekend everyone would agree Miocic is the greatest heavyweight of all time, it's very telling that the first thing you hear from him on the countdown show is, I love shutting people up. If there's a silver lining in not getting your due respect, perhaps it's that motivation is never a problem.18 Percentage of Nganu significant strike attempts that landed in his first meeting with Miocic, who connected at a 73% clip. That translated to a 70-21 striking edge for the champ, with Nganu landing only 6 after round 1.6 takedowns by Miocic in the 2018 fight with Ngannou. The champion has 25 takedowns in his UFC career, tying him with former two-time champ Randy Couture for third most in heavyweight history.0. Victories by Ngannou in which he did not get a finish. He has 15 wins in his career, 11 by knockout and 4 by submission.